Back on March 14th, Russia's central bank opened its first overseas office in Beijing. And it's no secret that China and Russia, having big-time ties, they're big allies on this world stage. And they both obviously are rivaling the United States, it seems, in almost every aspect. If there's any talk of war or the war drums beat, it has to do with the West and NATO going up against Russia, the whole thing from uh, Ukraine to Syria. And then when it comes to China, everything with the South China Sea, what they've recently said about Taiwan, tensions with Japan. Russia and China all along have been making these deals left and right and making their alliance even stronger every step of the way. But what they're doing now really could shake things up big time because China has now got their currency into the IMF basket, which gives it more weight, but it's been plunging. And people have been scrambling to try to move their money somewhere else, and China has been clamping down big time. So now what is happening is we have Russia and China saying, we're about to start this trading with gold more and more with that standard. And, you know, the last time that this was talked about big time for a country, I remember was Muammar Gaddafi, and he wanted to make a gold standard for all of Africa. And he had the means and the plan to do it. And then the next thing you know, Obama was dropping bombs on them, and they killed him in the streets. But Russia and China seem not to be too threatened, it seems, as Moscow and Beijing join forces here to bypass the U.S. dollar in global markets, shifting to gold trade. So this is a move to keep an eye on. Nonetheless, I will continue to update on the movements made here connected with this. I'll leave a link below. It's been Dabu 7.